Hello. In this video, we're going to show a technique to simulate a, a C sharp feature called internals visible to uh, within TypeScript, which does not have that, but we can simulate it using classes and protected variables. So, first, we'll show an example of the feature in C sharp and why it's used. Uh, so, I have uh, VS 2017 Community Edition. I just created a new uh, .NET Core. Uh, library and a test library and so the typical example is you have you know, some constructor or class here and almost you know in normal use cases it knows how to construct its dependent types such as an instance of bar here uh, but perhaps if we go look at bar maybe it's uh, making an HTTP request or doing something that's not very deterministic so for this example I'll just have generating a random integer and yet if we wanted to unit test this function of bar uh, we wouldn't be able to know what the value was uh, because this number would keep changing kind of like uh, HTTP or any other external dependency the network could go down or uh, whatever and you need to uh, set that return value and so most of the time you would use mocks um, but we didn't want to expose the ability to set uh, this instance of bar to consumers because for whatever reason they just don't need that uh, complexity exposed to them so here we marked this constructor internal and then in the assembly info file we've said we're going to expose our internals to this other assembly uh, some library or test project and so then over in the test project you know, we've created our, our mock bar which has a, a fixed return value of 10 and now when we call uh, get total we know we input 10 and the return value of the mock was 10 so the total should be 20 um, and we can run it here see the test passes so now we'll go take a look at how to do a similar thing in TypeScript. Obviously, it doesn't match exactly because they don't have the same constructs in the language, but you could get fairly close. So here we have uh, Visual Studio Code, and we have a uh, TypeScript project set up with almost the exact same uh, structure. I have a class bar, or excuse me, foo, which uh, has a kind of a direct dependency on so other type bar and the constructor for the class you see it only takes one parameter now as far as I know there's no way to create another constructor and uh, somehow optionally expose this but I saw a similar technique um, using functions uh, on, a, on the internet and wanted to extend it for classes so here I just created another call it internal foo class which extends the original foo and it has the constructor which takes in the interface bar. And then in our root of our library, we're not actually exposing the internal foo class from the foo module. We're only exposing the kind of public constructor we want. So for consumers of our library, they won't be able to uh, create a new instance of internal foo, only, only foo. So that kind of achieves this uh, uh, internal property but then because our tests are written within the same scope uh, they have access to import that internal visible to class right so here we're creating our our mock i bar same thing in c sharp with a uh, fixed return value of 10 uh, we provided the mock instance with uh, as a second parameter same thing uh, calculate the result and should be 10 plus 10 equals 20 and we can go run our tests here, run npm tests, and you see they should pass. So thanks for watching. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments.